end this video, I'm going to share with you five essential WordPress blocks that I think you need to add to your WordPress websites right now. The blocks I'm going to be sharing allow you to do so much more with WordPress, make your content a lot more richer and give you a lot more freedom when it comes to design. To get these blocks, you are going to need to install an extra plugin. The plugin is called Spectra. You can easily install it from the WordPress dashboard. Just go into plugins, click add new and do a search for Spectra. You should be able to find it there. Just click install and then click activate and then you're good to go. So let's take a look at these blocks. The first block that I absolutely love is the container one. It's far more flexible than the standard WordPress group block. It's got some really cool layouts. It's got flex built in. So you can just do stuff that you, you simply can't do with a default WordPress editor. Once you add the container, you can easily select which layout you want. Then once you've done that, you can simply drag and drop in the blocks that you want. And they could be other Spectra blocks or they can be the default WordPress blocks. It does give you so much extra flexibility in terms of the layouts that you can do. And well, it's just your creativity that's holding you back on this. You can pretty much do whatever you can envision. The second block that I absolutely love is the icon list block. Now we've all been using lists in our content. Well, hopefully we have because it's a great way to get information across because people don't want to read big lumps of text. So if you're not using lists, then you should start right now. But when you add those lists to your content, the default WordPress ones, well, they're just boring bullets. With this block, you can add icons and you can change the colors and all that kind of stuff. And it just makes content pop when you've got little icons next to your bullet points. There's loads of icons built in, so I'm sure you'll find ones that fit with your content and your niche. It's really easy to use, really straightforward. Just drag it in, start adding your items, and then you can configure it in the right-hand panel really easy. The next block that I find really useful is the call to action block. Maybe you need your visitors to visit a particular page. Maybe you want them to buy a product. Maybe join your email list. A call to action block is a great way to encourage them to take action. The block's got a number of different features. You can have one or two buttons. You can customize the text. And if you combine it with the container block that I mentioned earlier, you can change its size and shape and also the background color. If you're not using calls to action on your website, I recommend that you start doing so now. There must be some objective that you want your visitors to complete, some conversion action. Otherwise, what's the point of your website? So yeah, check out the call to action block. It's, it's a real great way of increasing your conversion rate. The next block is for you product reviewers. It's the star rating block. Now again, this is the kind of thing that I used to use a separate plugin for. But with Spectra, it's built in. So if you're reviewing products or services, you can add your own star rating. And again, it's fully configurable. You can change the color of the stars. You don't just have to have out of five. You can have out of 10 and you can go in between. So it doesn't have to be four out of five. It could be 4.5 out of five. You can be as granular as you like with your ratings. The final block that's extremely useful is the FAQ block or the Frequently Asked Questions block. Now, I'd imagine most of you, if not all of you, have got FAQs on your website. Maybe you've got an FAQ page. Maybe you like to add them at the bottom of your articles. In the past, I was doing it with Rank Math, mainly because I wanted to add the SEO schema to my FAQs. Well, good news. We don't need to use that clunky old thing anymore. With this blog, it's really easy to add the schema. You just tick a box and that's your SEO schema taken care of for your FAQs. And then you just go through and add your questions. There's an accordion layout or there's a grid layout, whichever you like, and they're all completely customizable. And yeah, they just look great. I think it's just a good way of laying out all of your FAQs. So there we have it. There are my five essential WordPress blocks that I think you need to add to your website right now. Of course, there are loads of other really cool blocks within Spectra, but they're like the five that sprung to mind when I thought about which ones are absolutely essential, the ones that I use all of the time. Have you been using Spectra? What's your favorite block? Which ones have you been using on your websites? I would love to know. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all of the comments that I get. Until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.